Kevin from JJ Hat Center. How should your hat fit? How should it fit? Sometimes yeah, I ask a guy, um, how does it fit? He says, I don't know. How should a hat fit? We'll talk about that, all right? Also, um, how do you tell if your hat fits? How do you know? Um, you know, what's the quick and easy way that I'm able to tell if your hat fits or my hat fits? A couple of things I look for. Um, we're going to talk about that so you can be like as good as a hat salesman, as good as a good hat salesman, and know instantly if it's, you know, the depth, the, the length, the regular fit, you know, and if the hat fits or not. We're going to talk about that today. All right? the deal. The first thing a hat salesman looks for, you like this, right? My son calls this my air conditioning. It's a Japanese shirt from a long time ago. It's sentimental uh, value. Should have worn something else for the video. I know. So, when I'm looking to size somebody's hat, the first thing you do is you look for the ears. If it's a lady, you know, with bushy hair or something like that, the first thing I say is, can you do me a favor? Do you think you can push your hair below? behind your ear for a second for me? I'm sure, absolutely. Something like that. Mr. Kevin. Um, yeah, just like that. So what you do is you, um, you look at the space between the ear, not the ear lobe, the ear tip here. I guess that's a lobe. This is like another tip of the ear. You look at the distance between hat and ear tip. There should be a small, small distance. Now, there isn't one fit that really is right. People are gonna have a variation, different fits. A really loose fit is gonna be like on the ears and stuff. That's gonna be extreme. You don't want the ear to be an obstruction. Like, a person shouldn't have to walk around like this with an ear folded over. That's just not a good look, nor is it comfortable. Um, 
there are ways around this okay so what you can do is tighten up the hat and just lift the hat the hat will lift as you tighten it you could adjust it by putting foam in the back and lift it off the ear or you could teach the person to wear their hat at an angle so okay what I do is one side down ear is in and the other side is up you see ear is out so it looks really cool it's tight and the ear doesn't get pushed over you just wear it at an angle that works well you can also do an angle back, angle forward, it's all sorts of different ways. Um, people who like their hats tighter are going to like it, you know, a finger away from the ear, maybe a little bit more, finger and a half, two fingers is going to be, we're venturing off into, I like my hats tight land. So that's like um, religious hat, people wear their hats, uh, the big black hats are generally worn a little bit higher, you know, it's part of the culture. Or, Everybody in their family, everybody in their block or temple wears their hats that way. So, you know, it's just the way everybody was, you know, people copy each other, you know. So, if a hat is really oversized in general, it's going to look more casual, a little hip-hop, a little oversized, kind of like a big pack, baggy pair of jeans. It's casual, kind of cool and ironic and laid back and stuff like I don't know, some kind of cool Johnny Depp thing but if you wear your hat tight it's gonna be the opposite it's gonna look like you're real buttoned up kind of like your mom buttoned you up for Easter like very formal and proper and stuff um, the higher you go the more conservative it looks you know the religious hat look is a very dressy conservative look I mean let's face it you know they're not dressing to look punky they're dressing to look dressy so um, I'm going to say like this, it's a kind of a sensitive subject, I think, but everybody likes their hats a little different. If you like your hats super deep and big, you don't want your hats flying out all over the place. Think of it like this, the biggest part of your head is your brow bone. It's got to lock down there at some point. So you can turn your head upside down, you can even tap on it. While your head's upside down, you can tie your shoe. What time is it? You know, you can look down, uh, a, a train can pass, and you could just pull it down to your brow. It's locking down, it's good friction here. Like, really good. Now, if you pull it down and the hat is still big, I'll show you a hat that's a little bigger. Okay. Bring it down to your brow bone, and you're still like all this room. The hat will go all the way down here. So, generally, it's easy to diagnose, right? Okay, look, yeah, it's on this guy's ear halfway over his ear where it should be not even touching it really. We're barely touching it. Okay, the hat can touch your ear, just graze it, but not obstruct it like this. Now, if it's touching it, fine, but if it's touching it and the hat is up here, it's very deceiving. This hat is still three, four sizes too big for me. Why isn't it going down over my eyes or down over my chin? Because it's bottoming out on that. This part here is stopping it from going any further okay so a lot of people say hey wait a minute it's so high it must be tight Kevin said low is loose high is tight uh oh do I need a stretch but it feels big is it tight or what's the deal the deal is you need depth the hat has to go down to here okay so if you want to tell what your true, true size is, you want to tell what it is here at the temples, get this part out of the way. Pop it out. This is Kevin's trick to telling if a hat really fits or not. Pop it out. This is the trick here. Get out of the crown totally open. You're going to change it later. It has no effect on it. Don't worry about it. That shape is in there. Once you pop it back, it comes back. Whatever factor shape is in there is going to be right back. Open it temporarily, put it back on, now see how it feels. Oh, it's big, Kevin, I see. So it was this crease, center crease that was keeping it up there from going over my eyes. But now that you got the crown out of the way, it's way over my eyes. This is no good. Yes, what you need to do is tighten the hat so it's in the right, you know, height, so you can see. And you could lock it down at the brow and everything. And then you work on the crown. Okay, let's, let's do the crown. So what you really need is a center crease with a little bubble in the middle, like that. Easy to do. Right here. You steam it there, hot, 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 hot steam, 
don't steam this white outside. Out there, you want that to stay hard and cool. Just the inside you want to soften with hot steam. You try your best, direct the steam in there. And from inside, you press it upward. The other hand, you could use the end of a, a hairbrush. You could use anything you want. I use my fingers like a karate chop generally. Just kind of make it together and make this sort of long hot dog shape. And as it softens up, you'll be able to push that up. Now, a good trick is you do that and then you wait a few seconds. You feel it from inside. Make sure it's not scalding. You don't want to scald your head. But when it's almost, you know, just cool enough that you can put your head on there, put it on there and then lower it to where it's supposed to be and just trace around your head in that little circle. And then uh, you'll have the same center crease look. Everybody will see just the center crease, except from a bird's eye view, there'll be a little tiny bump there that you're making. No one will see that because it's, it's up here, you know? That bump is here. No one's gonna see it unless you wear your hat extremely on the back. Then they'll see it from back there but still only when you're leaving. So, soften it up in the middle, make your bump. Try the hat on again. If it's still bottoming out and the hat is sitting up way up here, just gotta lower it, make that bump. They call it a bubble crown. So the bubble crown is giving you the depth of a teardrop while remaining a center crease. So it's kind of like a hidden teardrop inside the, the center crease like that, right there, bubble crown. Now if you really want to deepen this and get a lot of room, what you do is you give it a full teardrop or pork pie. That's going to allow that whole bat to go up. So this is coming up now instead of in. The center crease is in, remember? Giving you less depth. The teardrop is coming upward, out of the crown. It's actually giving you more depth. While it looks low, it's a low shape, you know, you could just keep lowering this to the lowest height you want. It actually gives you a ton of depth because of that inner part that's rising up. Okay, well, obviously this is done really sloppily, you know, but you get the, uh, the gist of what I'm saying. Okay, so how do you tell? You look here. You're looking for a hat to just graze your ear, would be a little space, would be perfect. That's on the looser side, but it's common. Very small space. Uh, I would say like a pinky's width or maybe a, a half a pinky's width is real common. Maybe a full index finger would be, again, super common. Um, you know, a finger's width. I don't know what that is. An inch or something like that, a half an inch. Um, it should be close to your ear, as close as you can get them to your ears without it obstructing. You don't want it to bang into your ear or your glasses frame. Okay. Again, it doesn't matter if it's just touching it. It's okay. Just barely touching it. As long as everything is cool up here, you're getting enough headroom and enough height. Okay. Alright, I think we got that, the idea. So, you're looking here for your depth to see if your hat is fine. And the only way to tell if it's your true depth is to pop this out first. Get it out. Okay, get your size. If it's a little bit big, tighten it up from the back. Pick it up. You're gonna put either foam here or you're gonna put some foam here, maybe a four inch piece, five inch piece. You could get weather stripping, the type that has uh, adhesive on the back. I use something five, uh, three eighths inch, three eighths of an inch, uh, polyfoam weather seal. Polyfoam weather seal. It's, it's a particular type of sticky foam insulation. Anything that's foam you can use. You could just cut a strip of foam, you know, put it in there and tape it in or something. But yeah, you, you could get a whole like three or four dollar roll at like Home Depot.com or something or Amazon of uh, weather stripping. Try to get three eighth inch and um, it's like three or four bucks and That'll last you pretty much a lifetime, you know, for all of your hats. Uh, you only need about, you know, maybe three, two, three inches to maybe five, six inches for each hat. Um, even if the hat is like two or three sizes too big and you're doing like 12 inches of foam or something extreme, it'll still last you for like years and years and years. One roll uh, has just, you know, yards and yards of it. So I would say, it's good to have buy your hats a little big, never go tight and expect it to stretch. 
by it a tiny bit big if you're in between use that what I do is I put about a four inch piece in the back first okay if I need more I take one inch or two inch strips and I put that on each side of that four inch strip so you've got your main piece and then a little dash on this side a little dash on that side that way you tighten it up but you could always adjust it you could pull those little end pieces off like on the fly if your hat feels too tight you could add more little end pieces if your hat is blowing away um, it's adjustable that way you get different hairstyles or haircuts or whatever your hat ebbs and flows you have the room to play with it you can adjust it but when it's too tight there's really not much you can do at all um, stretching just doesn't really work and there's just so many side effects that it's like you know you never want to stretch a hat unless it's absolutely necessary like you have a hat at home that's too tight and you can't exchange it you can't do anything with it then you know I would say just don't buy a hat small and if you're in doubt and you can change it change it go bigger it's way less invasive to just stick a little piece of foam inside there it'll stay in there for like 20 30 years without you even remembering it's there sometimes people take out the foam when I go to like change a lining 20 years later and they'll, oh yeah I didn't know that was in there you know? um, you don't feel it half the times you might feel it for the first week until it you know mats down a little and then your hat just fits better and it's totally non-invasive it's just a piece of foam with a little sticker and you you take it out. I've had millions of them inside here. You can see there was duct tape in here at some point. Duct tape leaves pretty sticky residue, but we haven't used duct tape at JJ's in like 15, 20 years, you know. But um, we used to use it because it was like very sweat proof and you couldn't sweat it out. But the uh, weather stripping is good, you know. So yeah, there's residue in there, but no one ever sees that, you know. And that's, that's duct tape residue. You won't get that from weather stripping. Besides, if you do, anything underneath here is just raw, nobody sees it, and, you know, it's not even sticky, it's just, like, so old. But, um, what I'm gonna say is it's okay to just tighten the hat. Um, do it the way I said, a little piece, little extras inside. If you don't want to get weather stripping, get the product we have called, a uh, Sweat Band. It's $5. It's called a Cap Banu on Amazon but we call it a sweat band. They're really good for $5. It might tighten up one or two hats. Also acts as a sweat uh, absorber to block perspiration from going through if you put it in the front. But um, that's a whole show in itself. So yeah, I taught you how to tell if your hat fits or if your hat doesn't fit, so you know how to do that now. Um, what else? I told you my little trick about popping this out. Now it's a very common problem is that people will sometimes take their hat and they'll say, yeah, it fits a little weird. I don't know if it's big or small. They'll do this test. They'll pop out their crown and try on one of their hats and they'll be, well, wait a minute. It's, it's really big. I didn't know it was this big. Whoa. Because what happens is that center crease kind of bottoms out and it keeps, keeps the hat from going any deeper, from obstructing your vision, and, you know, and it, it acts like a tripod. There's like some, you know, it's touching here, here, here. So it stays fairly stable, but it's not as stable as, you know, if it was down further and stuff. Um, but, um, yeah, you need to tighten up that hat. And the only way to tell is to pop out that crown. And then you can see it's true tightness. You know what I'm saying? And adjust it. If you don't like the way it feels adjusted, uh, put half in it. See how it feels half adjusted. If you don't like that, take it out. It's not going to leave any residue in there if you just do it now. You'd have to leave foam in there for a long time. And you could also do it without the sticky part, no foam. You know, if you just want to do it as a test, that works. But I uh, would suggest eventually taking the uh, adhesive part, the tape off the backing, and putting it in. It doesn't work as well if you don't use the sticky stuff. So remember, under the sweatband is raw. There's a lot of stitches and you know, insides of stitches and nobody ever sees it, so it's okay to have some stuff under there. Um, you, know, you could have it for decades, nobody will know, and uh, it's just like a thing. Alright, you know how to uh, size your hats now, right? Ah, boy, my friend Tom out in California, Tom and Roland, they're in the where is he? Aptos, near uh, Santa Cruz area. 
there are uh, big fires surrounding them now. It's like, uh, I think they were both evacuated, so I hope everything's okay. Tom's house, Roland's house, family, the kids. Uh, grab your guitars, don't leave your guitars at home. If the fire's getting close, that Les Paul burns, I will, I'll come over there and personally beat you with the burnt uh, skeleton of the Les Paul. So, um, let's see what we could do here at the end.